7x plus y equals 1. And we are given 2x square minus y equals 3. I asked to find the value of x and y respectively. So this is the equation as usual. To arrange these equations, we have a linear and a quadratic equation here. So it's going to be bring this one back this side and arrange it. Now we are bringing the quadratic expression. The y should be at one end, whereas the x variable or uh, the s square term and the number term should be at one side of the equation. Now this is very, very important, guys. Now if you do this, you're going to have y will be 2x square minus 3. So when you arrange this, what we're going to have. So basically what I did, I took this y over to this side, changed the positive, I brought this to over this side, changed to negative. Okay. Now, once you have gotten this, substitute what you have here for the value of y here in this linear expression. So when you do it, you're going to have 7x plus 2x square minus 3 equals 1. Okay, so when you break this down, you're going to have 7x plus 2x square. Okay, this is square. Let me write this way. So we have square here, minus 3. This one cross over the body sign, change negative, minus 1 equals 0. So this final expression with 7x plus 2x square minus 3, sorry, minus 3, minus 1, it gives us minus 4 equals 0. So let's arrange it orderly. So the leading term we come first. The leading term here is 2x square. So we're going to have 2x square plus 7x minus 4 equals 0. We now have a quadratic expression. So at this juncture, let's find the roots of this equation. The roots of the equation will be our x values. So with it, we can find our y values. To begin with, we need to factorize this. Okay. Once we have done how to deal with quadratic equation involve factorization. And in that video, if you have not watched it, check it and watch it. Very, very important, guys. I said in that video that when the coefficient of x square is more than 1, you multiply that coefficient with what you have here. The coefficient of x square here is more than 1. We have 2. So when you multiply 2 by negative, we're going to have negative 8 here. Okay, now ask us what are two numbers that when you multiply them you get negative eight and when you add them you get seven this seven here now let's experiment i feel the two numbers will be okay so let's check eight and plus one let's check negative eight and plus one and see what it's going to give us minus eight plus minus eight times plus one give us minus eight Okay, now minus 8 plus 1 will give us minus 7. All right, so we're not going to work. That means we are going to try minus 1 and plus 8. Minus 1 times plus 8 will give us minus 8. And minus 1 plus 8 will give us 7. So this will be the factors we are going to make use of. So when you bring it to this side, at this juncture, this negative 8 has finished serving its purpose after imputing it here. So we're going to have 2x square minus x plus 8x minus 4 equals 0. Now let's wipe some parts of this and complete this. So when you get here, you're going to do what we call factor by grouping at this juncture. So when you do factor by grouping, you're going to have 2x square minus x in brackets. So we have plus 8x minus 4. So when you factorize this first bracket, we're going to have okay, x in bracket 2 minus 1. Plus now, when you factorize this 8x minus 4, we're going to have 4 in bracket 2x minus 1. So this is a precise way to do it. Now, you bring this x plus 4, plus 4 together and 2x minus 1 will stay together. So one of the ways to check what you are doing is correct is when you, what you have here is the same thing with what you have here. Okay, so it is correct already using that verification. So we're going to have x plus 4 and 2x minus 1. Alright, so let me wipe up and 
complete this solution. So that means our x will have two values. Now x plus four equals zero and two x minus one equals zero. So we make x the solid formula here. This one crossover change to one. So the Bible side we're going to have two x equals one to make x the solid formula. We're going to side by two. So our x is one over two or zero point five. And our x will be also this for a positive agent negative four. Okay, so x will be negative four or zero point five. So now that you have this output, let's wipe everything. We have known the output of x. Let's wipe wipe everything here. Okay, so we got our x to be zero point five and negative four. Okay, you now say let's substitute the values of x respectively in this equation one so when x is 0 0.5 we're going to have 7 times 0 0.5 remember we are looking for y plus y equals 1 so this is going to give us 7 times 0 0.5 will give us 3.5 3.5 let me write it through right? so we're going to have 3.5 plus y equals 1 so that means to make y the solid formula this 3.5 cost over the point is I'm going to have y equals 1 minus 3.5. Okay, so the output when you subtract, you're going to get minus 2.5 to the value of y when x is 0 0.5. Or when x is negative 4, when you substitute it here as well, you're going to have 7 times negative 4, okay, plus y equals 1. So, 7 times negative 4 gives us negative 28 plus y equals 1. So we make y the solid formula. This negative 28 plus over, we're going to have 1 plus 28 gives us about 29. Okay, now let's also verify using this second equation and see the output of y if we're going to get negative 2.5 and 29 respectively. So when our x is 0 0.5, when we plug it here, so y will be 2 times 0 0.5 square minus 3. So when you punch everything in your calculator, let me punch and see what it's going to give me. Okay, so when you punch everything in your calculator, it will still give you minus 2.5. Okay, what of when x is negative 4? So when you plug it here, you're going to have so 2 times minus 4 square minus 3. So when you simplify everything, and as four square, it gives us 16. Okay, 16 times 2 will give us 32. 32 minus 3 will still give us 4, 29. Okay, so these values of x we got are valid. Finally, let me wipe up and show you how you're going to express your answer. Since this question involved a quadratic expression, we're going to have two respective values for x and y. So we are going to see when x is 0 0.5 y equals minus 2.5 okay and when x is negative 4 y is 1 29 okay so this is how you're going to represent it as your answer so that's basically the idea behind solving simultaneous equation that involves quadratic expression